logarithmic equations question 32 solve log to the base 9 of x plus 2 log 3x equals to 5 now in this equation we don't have same basis so we need to put them in the same base so at this time we should change the base of log 9x to log 3x correct so we can do it like this change of base formula which is log of 9x can be written as we'll change it to log of 3 so we'll write 3 here of x divided by log of 3 of 9 so that is how we can change the base from 9 to 3 and this is equal to log of 3x over 9 is 3 squared so it is it is 2 right so let me let me go one more step here log of 3 3 square right and this is this is 2 so we get log of 3x over 2 so so the first expression is basically can be written as log of 3x over 2 correct so we will replace base 9 with base 3 and then solve the equation so now we can write this equation as log of 3x half right so we'll write half here plus 2 times log of 3x equals to 5 so that becomes our equation now now what we can do is we can use product rule and the power rule so the power rule is that these are same bases so now this could be written as log of 3 and that is x to the power of half right this is x to the power of half times and this is x square equals to 5 correct so that is what we get as using our this power rule makes it log of base 3 to the power of x to the power of half this first term and this one becomes log of base 3 x square and when this is plus in between with the same base we use the product rule and they get multiplied correct so we get this now from here we can say 3 to the power of 5 correct? 3 to the power of 5 which goes in the numerator is equals to x to the power of we'll add these two powers right which is 2 plus 1 5 over 2 so we get x to the power of 5 over 2 is equals to 3 to the power of 5 okay now if you compare the powers so what we can do is we have x square is let's write like this x square to the power of 5 is equals to 3 to the power of 5 that means x square is equals to 3 correct so we have x square equals to 3 or x is equals to square root of 3 right now we are not considering the minus value here since negative is not in the domain of this function x values can only be greater than zero right so the only solution is x equals to square root of three